Hi and welcome to graphic and design. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to use masks in uh, Affinity Designer and how to use them and the different kind of masks that you have. So you can create a mask with any shape or form that you can actually draw. For example I got here a circle, a square, a pentagon and start then this shape that I got here, I did it with the pencil tool and this one here I did it with the pen tool and also you can bring the vector brush and if you go to your uh, brushes you can choose any kind of brush that, that you want let me see uh, something like this, something like this will be fine, make it, let's make it a little bit bigger and if I do something like that uh, this can become a mask as well. Now something that is very important the shape has to be filled. If it is not filled it is not going to act as a mask but the color that you use for the fill it doesn't matter. I'm going to show you just now. So let's start with this. Let's start with the rectangle. So if I bring the rectangle here on top put it place it somewhere there and to create a mask or to use this as a mask basically what you do is you grab the shape that you want to create as you can see on my layers um, uh, window there and I go to the image that I want to create a mask and as you can see if I put it like this with that bar that appear that um, bluish or light blue bar that appears uh, underneath basically that means that is um, is inside but it's not a mask and to make it a mask you need to get that perp that vertical bar next to the image of the uh, layer that, that you want to use as a mask and then you release so when you do that now this one is the mask if I do like this as you can see I'm using that one as a mask now as I said before I select that one as you can see I got a fill if I click in here in my color tabs if I click on that uh, dot there which I, what it does is it takes the uh, it makes the um, fill completely empty or transparent if I click in there as you can see now there is no fill nothing happened now if I as soon as I put a color you see now the um, the actual mask start working. Now if I change the color as you can see nothing actually changed here on the mask everything remains exactly the same so again the color is not important what is important that there is a, some color as a fill okay so let me move that one down there let me make it disappear so now let's bring another one, let's bring the circle. So I'm going to bring this circle there and I'm going to make it as a mask. Perfect. So now, oh, sorry, no perfect. Now there we go. Now this is a mask. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Now what happened is if I apply any with selecting the uh, ellipse, that ellipse that I'm using as a mask, if I select it and I go to effect any effect that I apply on the mask is going to reflect on, on that layer is going to reflect on the mask so for example if you want to fade all the borders one of the ways to do it is using Gaussian blur and then as you can see as I'm making it bigger you can see now how the edge is becoming more blurry the other thing that you can do is for example let me take this one move it out so I can use another one let's use this one there let's make it a little bit bigger okay and now again there you make it as a mask if I go there here on my panels I got the transparency tool if I click in there and I can with the polygon selected and I click in one place and I move it now I can give some transparency so with that also you can create very nice effects now the ones that I actually created this one for example as you can see there is no fill if I bring it here and now I make it the sorry I move the wrong things this one needs to go to the top now if I come here to my curve 
and I go to my color as you can see there is no background as soon as I put that background the image appears there and the last one but uh, sorry the last the last but not least is that curve that we created now with the uh, with the brush let me put it there now it's a mask let me take this one and move it away if I click in this one and I bring it into the image image you can see now the, the image appears okay so those are the masks that uh, you can actually draw or you can use when when you draw um, any shape on designer okay now there is another kind of mask that also can be used and if you go here to the layers panel you'll see that in the middle there is three icons the first one is actually the mask layer the second one is adjustment adjustment layer and the last one is the effects so if we click on the mask layer it puts um, that mask at the top okay but as you can see nothing happened if I put it there inside and I select and I bring the brush for example uh, nothing really happened okay so how this one works perfect let's see let me delete now let me delete that one there okay delete there we go when I select that mask to make it work that mask is a pixel mask so to be able to work with that one what you have to do is you need to change personas so how you do that if you come here to the um, top left you'll see three icons okay the first one is actually your designer persona the second one is the pixel persona and the third one is the export persona the one that we are going to use is a pixel persona when you click on onto that one you'll see that now your interface has changed so now if i want to do something on the image or affect the image in any way what you can do is for example if you paint whatever you paint in here is going to become the mask and so for example I take my brush as you can see um, let me choose something I don't know something like this there we go so I want to I don't know something else this one there let me make it a little bit bigger 500 okay and opacity let's make it less so what happens is if I click and I make a mark or if I drag and I make um, a draw what you can see now is that is actually your mask so if I use let me see something like this one if I do something like this so you can create like a paintings or you can create like a scratches and things like that so that is how you use this mask so anyway thank you very much for watching up to here I hope you liked the video uh, if you have any suggestions or you know how to use differently mask please let me know in the comments down below thank you very much for watching and like always see you in the next video